Alright, what's up? Check it out everybody, all my kings and queens. Welcome back to the channel. You already know it's your boy King CJ on the mic here. And today we got another episode of Keeping It Real. In today's episode, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to talk about the companion system. And for those of you guys who don't know what the Keeping It Real series is, it's a series where I just keep it as real as possible. We give the pros, we give the cons, we give ratings on it. We also ask, is it worth it? And we also want to know how can we make something better. Cons is the only thing I really want to talk about that's negative, so I'm not going to want to go too much in there. So, <coughs> sorry about that. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and go. Let's hop right into it now. Now, let's go ahead and talk about. The pros of the companion system. Um, so, when I when we first got these companions, one good thing that definitely came out of this was the fact that every companion that you collect gives you a, a stat increase. Um, and what I mean by that is, let's just open up some of these, like even these menu ones, right? So when you open these, the collection stat is 15 attack, right? All these little bitty stat boosts that you get, they definitely add up. Uh, I definitely agree with that. Um, as far as more of the pros go, I think I think one good pro about these is each companion has their own different flavor, and I like the design of them. It kind of it kind of gives you that itch of the hero collector. Um, but each each companion has their own stats to them, um, like Icarus. Um, I don't know what his stats are. Um, actually, I can go ahead and pull these up. Because what I feel like, some of these bonus effects, I feel like they're going to help some people who could not just inch out that little bitty stats they had left of defense pierce. So I feel like this is definitely going to be a good way for them to, you know, go ahead and max those stats out in the collection. It's just, just going to be good. So... And it also allows for people to play semi play as characters that they know they'll never play with, that probably never come to the game. So it gives them a little feel right there. Um, and I also love the fact that uh, there is companions that are common, or if you want to say normal, because um, the fact that if you're free to play, um, you can at least have somebody spawn up on you. You know what I mean? Um, so I think I think that's a way to get people involved. So, but um, now let's go ahead and get into the negatives because there's really not that much good to me. In all honesty, um, ah, yeah, this this system definitely has a lot of a lot of negatives going on. So. Let's start off with the first negative. Um, I think it, it's it's about the time they put it in. Like the timing of putting these companions in is not good. The player base is, is sick of the RNG. This whole system is very RNG and it's very, very expensive. Um, and then on top of that, you add in these more things where you got to get RNG shards to build them up. And oh man, yes, it's, it's going to get worse. It's definitely going to get worse. I'm going to tell you. Um, now I did praise them for having a way for free to play players to you know cooperate in this. But here's the thing: you made all the normal characters characters nobody wants to play with. Like nobody cares about any. The most somebody would care about, and that's if they're a really a, a hardcore Deadpool fan. It's Bob the Agent Hydra. I don't know if y'all know who Bob is, but Bob is that man. In the comics, he runs around with Deadpool. He's pretty funny. He tries to be serious while Deadpool's always joking around, trying to pull him back in his shenanigans. But that is probably the only comic companion that you would want if you actually read Deadpool's. But everybody else looks so generic. So even on top of that, on top of that, you make the characters that people want super hard to get it's not even funny how hard these characters are to get um now don't get me wrong they give you a free cersei but as a one star they don't really do nothing and that goes into another negative of mine 
having making them a three star in order to spawn their attack was very very greedy it was it was actually disgusting in my opinion i do not approve of that um you guys need to fix that um another negative this day was it has turned dimension duels into an absolute s show like dimension duel out here is not fun no more um it's not balanced anymore people throw out their campaigns and it's kind of like ah, almost one shot worth territory kinds of bs that's going on over there and i've experienced it myself as well um uh trust me guys there's there's more negatives um an another thing is some of these companions that you guys put in here like it, this is definitely going to be a negative because I, I know it's going to happen in the future um I think they're gonna have a negative stigma. Stigma once you start putting in more favorable characters in there. Like I think we're all in a consensus. If your favorite character comes as a companion, pour one out for them, boys. They're not. They're not being a playable character. Like right now, we're all cool with this lineup. Right now, right? We're all cool. Now, what if you're? What if the night crawlers? What if you're rogues? Your gambits, right? What if you're? Uh, I, I'll put I'll put Falcon and Bucky there because I know they have some fans. What if they're companions and they're not actual playable characters? That's going to piss off a lot of people, and I completely understand. Another negative about the system: it's not free to play friendly at all. Whales, when they first tried to come into this, uh, granted they took their word back. They hopped in here, seen it. They was like, "Oh, you can you can grind for the shards. You can grind for the shards. It's a way for you to grind for the shards." But then. Once the update came out, they had a day to play around with it. They realized that this whole thing right here is a scam, right? This whole thing. Maybe maybe if you want to get a, a rare, right, a rare one, maybe if you want to get a, a rare, you'll be fine, I guess. You can use these common ones right here to, you know, go ahead and get you something because I'm not going to level up commons. Um, so... It's not it's not a very good system. The conversion is very trash and it's very 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 RNG. Another thing that's negative is how hard you can tell they're trying to monetize these things is absolutely disgusting. And then on top of that, they monetize them to a point where you can only get to the two stars. And then once you get to the two stars, now you gotta start gambling. Now you gotta start getting into things like these forty-four dollar deals. It's absolutely disgusting. When they made this system, you can tell they just wanted to ink out as much as they could for the whales. I, I'm actually disgusted. Net marble. That's not how you do it. And you guys know what you were doing when you made this system. Um, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not really that good in my opinion. It's I think it's a terrible system. Um I think that that's all for the negatives for now. I don't want to go on a big old rant, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump over it. So now let's talk about is it worth it? Um if you're a whale, then yes it's worth it. Um because the stats that you get, um the things that you can you can do with these um i have a few people in my alliance now they're not whales but like this um they got their nick fairies out nick fairy has a cool little special one like all these right here they're just absolutely banging like for this example see the stamina recovery see people are definitely going to work on that as you can see that's just one of the common ones so like i say man this system could have been good if it just wasn't so greedy um, but like I said, if you're free to play, no, their system's not really worth it. If you're a whale, then yes, this system is absolutely fantastic for you. I don't see a reason why. If you have the money to spend it, man, then just go ahead and spend it. How can we make this now? Let's go ahead and trans transition over to the next thing. How can we make this a better system? If you want to make this a better system, that Marvel, first off, if you're gonna have different tiers of companions, right? Then you need to actually make them farmable. Cause right now, uh, I think they're called specials, right? Is that, is that the name of the companions? They're special companions. Right now, the special companions are not farmable. Now you can get lucky as hell and get a, a bio out of <laughs> something out of your blitz maybe, but then when this event is over, you're still not gonna be able to do it. So you need to make these farmable. 
And I mean actually formable, not none of that BS shard conversion that you're going, that you know people are not going to do, and you know it's bad. Right now, all this is looking like is, if you want a special companion, cough up money, boy. And that doesn't feel good to nobody. Um, so, and, and another thing, if you're going to make a companion system, you should probably, and, I, and I'm just taking a guess here, you should probably let them throw their skills at at any star now what you could do is say hey they can throw their skill out at one star but it's not going to be as strong as the higher stars but you can't upgrade that skill until it gets to three stars okay so now you got the free to play people in in interactive with it you got the low spinners interacting with it and you got the wheels interacting because everybody gets to use this skill but the higher your stars go, the more you can upgrade the skill. Cause, cause right now all it feels like is one stars and two stars are just absolutely useless. They're just there for the stats and nothing but the stats. So this is what I'm talking about when I say the reason Marvel Contest of Champions does so well is because they have good fodder. Net Marvel, you guys do not have good fodder. This is not good fodder. Nobody feels good when they get a great character and when they even get that great character when you even try to level it up right here my god it's 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 100k gold like bro that's apps that's not good doesn't feel good when you get them uh, for an example if i play marvel contest of champions right guys i open up 10 crystals and let's say none of them are five star or six star no right at the end of the day, I'm still going to get, let's say, you're going to get some four stars. You're going to get ISO. That ISO, you can use it to anybody. There's no RNG involved. You can use it on anybody. And then on top of that, you might get a four-star character that you just be like, huh, I didn't have them as a four-star. Okay. But they always bring content out. Four stars are always going to be used for somewhere, whether it's arena, whether it's some new content that's going to restrict you to using four stars, or when they have challenges as four stars. I can't see Netmarble being that creative at all and make it to where you can only use one star companions, two star companions, three star companions. So honestly, it's just the fodder is bad. If you're going to have RNG, have good fodder. All right, guys. Um, so that is my rant on that one. So looking around the landscape, looking at how the companions definitely have changed some of the balance in the game. Not all of it is still broken. Um, you know what? I would give this a 5 out of 10. Okay. Um, that's just how I'm feeling. If you guys don't enjoy if you guys don't agree with that, that's fine. If you think it's lower, if you think it's higher, that's fine. Well, just go ahead and comment what you think down below. Um, let me know what you give your rating to it. But that's just where I sit. I don't feel like the, the system isn't like terrible, terrible, but it's not good either. Um, it's definitely a money grab and you can feel that. I don't know what Netmarble was kind of reaching on there. But hey guys, on a bright side, I got my Spider-Man to 105. And we got a full Xandar set, so that's awesome. But anyways, if you like in the comment, man, I see you guys watching. If you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Peace out.